Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Now we've ranked the NHL arenas inside and out, mm -hmm. but we were recently provided some images from a very, very nice guy. Bjorn Holmgren in Sweden. Yeah, in Sweden. He sent us photos of the arenas in the SHL, the highest uh, league in Sweden. And there's 14 different arenas and we thought, you know what, let's, uh, let's rank them and maybe yeah. show some of these arenas to you guys at home. <clears throat> and uh, you can see a bit of Sweden and a bit of that league. So. Yeah, let's so. do it. And now you've taken taken over this a little bit. You've done the, the ranking have. yourself. I have. 14 to 1, your least favorite to favorite. Yeah. And uh, I know you've done some research. And and, and Bjorn has provided us with uh, a lot of photographs of the outsides and a lot of photographs of the insides. And yeah. we've gone and picked a couple of other photos as well just to help fill out the list. Um, I think the first thing we should uh, just, I guess, understand is that the Swedish Hockey League, you know, the talent is amazing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> The, the towns they play in are a lot smaller than we would be used to in the NHL uh, world in North America. So the, these arenas are going to seat as few as four or 5,000 people. Some seat as, you know, 10 or 12,000, but these are going to be smaller arenas. Yeah. And, and there will be a large disparity between them. You'll see one that looks like a community hockey rink here in Canada, very small. But then you'll see others that look like an NHL size arena. So, mm. yeah, it's quite a, a wide stretch. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we've, we're not going to do just the outside ranking and then just the inside ranking. Mm -hmm. We've combined the images together mm -hmm. and that's how you've you've made your decision based Indeed. on both pictures, the inside and the outside. I so uh, let's start at number 14. Okay, this is uh, in Mora. This is the FM Matson Arena. I thought it had, uh, it's old. This rink was built in 1967 and it shows its age, I think. So this is my, my last, lowest ranked uh, arena. It looks old on the outside and it looks old on the inside, I think, generally speaking. Um, it has a very low ceiling. Mm. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of uh, capacity. It's uh, only 4,500 and some uh, fans can get in that arena. So I just thought, you know, as arenas go, it's, it's old. There are some new and beautiful arenas in Sweden, uh, and this is not one of them. It, the the yeah. scorecog's pretty big. I'm just noticing that. Yeah, it probably looks even size. bigger based on the size of the, exactly, the building it's yeah. sitting in. Yeah. Uh, it, the outside looks like a like a parachute factory or something. Remember those old <laughs> yeah. giant parachutes? That, yeah, the old round ones. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All righty. Number 13. Next is uh, the Deer Gardens uh, IF in, in, in Hovet. Uh, there's things I like about it. I like the steep uh, pitch of, of the seats. The exterior is a little so-so. When I first saw this in profile, it reminded me of the monument for the USS Arizona in Pearl Harbor. <laughs> it looks almost like a ship from the side. Uh, mm. I, I don't know, uh, maybe from a different angle it might look different, but uh, and maybe that's the back. There looks like a delivery truck sitting there. So maybe we're not looking at the arena's best side in this photo, mm. but uh, I don't, it, I'm not wowed by that at all. Not inside is not so bad. I like the inside, but yeah, yeah. the outside isn't uh, yeah. it's very amazing. Yeah. Number 12. The Vita Arena. Um, this is the Lakers, and that has a capacity of uh, just under 6,000 people. Nice uh, seat pitch, you know, nice sloping. The yeah. outside, I think, it's a very modern looking building. Uh, I actually like these. Uh, now, what you're going to see in a lot of these, and this is a good example right here. I think I know what you're about to say. Standing, standing areas? Standing areas and or the, the first row of seats is back from the glass. Oh, okay. And if you watched videos, what, two or three months ago, I did one about how I don't like fans banging on the glass because it interrupts the microphone pickup from the games on TV. Yeah. Uh, that's not possible in a lot of these arenas in, in Sweden because the seating is actually, you know, probably six or even 10 or 12 feet away from the glass, mm. which may not be a great fan experience, but it makes it, I'm sure, for cleaner TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like this, I like mm -hmm. this one. Number. Uh... This will be number 11 coming up next, the Lindab Arena. Yeah, Lindab. Yeah, uh, this is where Rogla plays. Uh, 5,000 seat capacity, uh, nice, uh, nice seat angle there. I think everybody in there would have a good view of uh, what's going on. Mm. Uh, does have a bit of a low ceiling, uh, and it's a fairly small arena, but uh, I like it. Something else we're going to see a lot, and we're not used to this in North America, the four main face-off circles in each of the zones have advertising. We're not used to seeing that. That's strange, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even notice it until you said it, but... Yeah, they they're, they all have it, and that's, you know, that's part of how the, the game gets funded is yep. by sponsorship, and we understand that. In North America, advertising has now appeared on all the boards, but they so far 
have kept it off those four main face-off circles. I'm sure it's coming. I'm sure it is too. The interesting thing here is in this arena, there's actually no advertising whatsoever in the metal dot. Yeah. It's blank. Yeah, maybe so. that's uh, up for bids. <laughs> yeah, maybe. The yeah. outside looks like a looks like a store. It doesn't even look like a rink. Uh, it, yeah. Like a sport it, check or something. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It, people from Sweden might not even know what sport check yeah, is, but just a large sporting goods store of some yeah. kind. Yeah. Very good. Number ten. Okay, this is the ABB Arena in uh, Karlskrona. Uh, very modern looking. It's beautiful on the outside. Again, it doesn't look much like a hockey arena. It doesn't scream hockey. Uh, it also has a fairly low ceiling and a fairly small capacity too. Only a fifth, just a little over five thousand fans yeah. can get in there. And there don't seem to be any seats at the ends of the arena. Certainly at the far end. If you look um, over here, the the far end of the arena seems to be more just structure and. And, and the side of, of the arena rather than mm. a place where fans can sit. The angle of the photo doesn't give us a lot on the near side, but I'm sure it's not a whole lot different. So, uh, but again, there's there's no ability of the fans to get right up to the glass unless they pay and get standing room in there or something. That, yeah, that could be That, that could be how they do yeah. it. I don't know. So, number, number nine. nine, the Gaver Lincoln Arena. The, uh, this is uh, where Brinus plays. 7,900 people can get in here. So it's going to be larger. Uh, I, I like the look on the outside of it a little better. I know I do, you yeah. like glass. I like that. So there's that staircase off to the to the left there with yeah, all I like that of, a lot. Yeah, well, that's glassed in. That looks nice. Very nice. Um, I like this the this middle section. There's kind of a, almost a two tier mm -hmm. section where the middle has perhaps VIP seating or at least a concourse or walkway for people to move about. So I like that one. <clears throat> yeah, it's a nice looking arena. Yeah, thumbs up. This is the Saab Arena. This is number eight. Uh, this is in where Lincolnping plays, uh, 8,500 capacity, a little flatter in the lower bowl, but it's got that deck going on again. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I like it. I like the mid deck, and I like the fact again that they're separated from the glass. It looks like a very nice, clean arena on the inside. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll see that the seat lines in the corners. You you have this straight line of seats, and then an angle, and another straight line of seats. I'm not sure that gives the fans the best angle because if you're at one or the other ends, yeah. you're kind of always looking over your shoulder a little bit. But uh, it does neat. have a nice, clean, sterile look to it. Kind of neat. Yeah. Uh, this Skeleftia AIK plays here. This is the uh, number seven pick. Again, more separation from the glass, but you can see where the, the staircase goes down to the rink level. Yeah. So there might be, again, standing room available there, perhaps. Maybe that's what it's all about. Um, so it's nice and steep. Uh, I like that one uh, quite a bit. And the outside I love. I mean, I think yeah, it's, that's a, that's beautiful. It, it looks almost like a library in a way, the angles <laughs> it has, but uh, a very, very nice, attractive building. Number six. Number six. This is the Baron Arena, where Oribro plays, uh, Oribro HK. 5,500 people can get in here. Um, I thought the upper deck area was nice. It seems to be more of a separation bef between the lower deck and the upper deck. And for an arena that seats not a whole lot of people, I thought it had a nice, almost a big, big rink look to it. Mm. So uh, I kind of like this one. I got a thumbs down this one. Your thumbs down? No, I don't like this. Okay. No. Why is that? Anything I, in particular? I don't like the way the seats are. Okay. Uh, and the outside is ugly. Sorry. All right. No, it's not doing it for me. Okay. Number, Number five. five. This is the uh, in Faryastad, uh, the Lofsburgs Arena. Again, a nice upper deck with a, with a division in between. There is separation from the glass uh, where the fans wouldn't hopefully get too close to, to, the, uh, to the player environment. Uh, the outside of it I like. The outside is beautiful. Yeah. I really like that a lot. Yeah, it's very nice. The inside is nice too as well. Yeah. I, I like this one a lot. Oh, good. Number four. This is the Scandinavian. What Are does that sure remind you of? It's not the Saddle Dome? There, look at that. <laughs> You mean what, what's a Calgary uh, building doing in uh, in yeah. in uh, <laughs> in Sweden? This is where Frölunda plays. Oh. Um, it's a nice nice building, and this is the one. Notice I talked about the angular corners of the seating before. Right. This has the rounded corners, more of a theatrical style roundness. Uh, it's so flat. The seats. It is. The That's very strange. It is very strange. But at least everybody who's got a seat is facing center ice as opposed to not being facing center ice. I guess. I, I don't know if that would be a good place to watch a hockey game. I don't think in. it I really would. don't. I think that, if, especially if somebody big was in front of you, yeah. someone with a big hat or a big hairstyle. It would be uh, hard to see way up the ice if you were yeah. back here in one of these lower seats. Yeah. But I like it, uh, generally. I think there's lots of separation there. And again, this could be a standing room issue uh, mm. or a provision for standing room. All right. Do leagues in Sweden play with the ice size? 
uh, in the NHL or the international. They would play size. the European yeah. size, so it's two hundred by hundred. I think right. is the yeah. Um, yeah, this is the uh, now it's uh, C O O P, and I think the tendency for us is to say coop, but I think it actually stands for co-op because there's a cooperative that is a sponsor or owner or somehow involved with the team. Okay. So it's the Co-op Norbotten Arena in Lulia, and 6,300 seat capacity. The other side of the of the seating looks fairly steep, but the near side doesn't. So it must be a camera yeah. uh, property there. It's a perspective does that. thing. Yeah, so it, it actually doesn't look like it. You know, here you are, this photograph's being taken from six or seven rows up, um, and it looks like the ice is still pretty flat. Mm. Now, interestingly, if you look at the far end, uh, you'll see a bunch of numbers and a lot of empty floor space. I don't know if that's for, you know, uh, handicapped access, so wheelchairs to move up there, mm. or whether that's an entire standing room area that's d devoted to people who want to crowd up close by. I don't know what that is. Mm. It'd be interesting if Bjorn or someone could let us know uh, what the purpose of that is. Uh, yeah, it definitely. might be a neat idea for all I know. All right. Oh, I was going to say, uh, very unique looking oh, building. Oh, the outside, yes, and I'm glad you came back to it. Um, as you can see, there are two buildings connected on either side. So it looks like it has three ice surfaces all together, with the main rink being in the middle. Wow. And it looks like it probably, because those other two, they are uh, arena-sized surfaces could go in those buildings, mm. I'm, I'm guessing. And it's they're all connected, facility. so it must be a, a really big complex. Yeah. So very impressive. Number two. Malmo. This is Bjorn's <laughs> favorite team. Now, he may be from the Malmo area. He didn't say, but he likes the Malmo uh, team best. So this is his favorite and I have it ranked number two. This is the town or the city that's just across the bridge from Copenhagen, Denmark. Mm. So uh, Malmo is very southwestern Sweden. Uh, I thought the, the arena on the exterior looked great. To me it has this resemblance of a large control tower at an airport. I love it. And I'm an airplane uh, fiend. I love anything to do with aviation. And I don't know if that was the intent when the architects built this building or designed it, but I think it looks like a control tower yeah, and for I, that reason alone. I love, I love the exterior yeah, of this building. Yeah, the, the outside structure, the exoskeleton of the building yeah. with all the girders and everything. I absolutely love it. And inside is very nice as well. Um, it's got a nice mid-deck area that runs all the way around. Yeah, that's clearly a, uh, one yeah. of the larger rinks in the, in the yes, league. Yes, it does. It seats uh, 12,500, so wow. it might even be the largest. I'm just going through. It looks like it is so far from a quick scan of my mm -hmm. list. Beautiful, beautiful. Number one. This is the one I like the best. This is the... Uh, the Kinarps Arena, where HV71 plays. And we've, we've talked about HV71 when we did the logos, and they're right. a very successful team. Yeah. And this is where they play. And I thought you would like it, and one of the reasons I chose it is because that glass must look, now I'm not sure how the picture inside is relating to that, but I'm guessing that the sun that shines in that window probably is behind the camera that we're seeing. Could be. And maybe there's outside daylight coming into the arena, if that's the case. It'd be like, nice to know if anyone it has would be wonderful from to Sweden know that. to... Yeah. Leave a comment down below and let us know. And the seats look nice and steep. Looks like everybody would have a good view of the yeah. arena and will be close to the ice surface rather than flattened that's out. That's the first thing I, I noticed when I looked at the picture. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, again, the separation from the glass. And I'm not sure if that's, uh, again, for standing room or safety or just to keep the fans a little more detached from, from mm. interfering with uh, the attention of the players on, on, the, on the play. Yeah, so. I like the inside. I like the outside. Uh, I probably would rank the other one the, the control it was close for me. Uh, the one in Malmo is gorgeous, yeah. and uh, it was almost a toss-up. Mm. I like them both very well. It's very interesting going through arenas in, in another league. I'm sure yeah. that probably 98% of people who watch hockey in North America and are from North America don't know what arenas look like in, in some of these leagues and countries around the world, other mm. than watching them in the Olympics the odd time and stuff. But yeah. uh, Pretty, pretty cool exercise to go through these. So Beautiful buildings. Thank you, uh, Bjorn, yeah. for, for sharing that with us. Thank you, Bjorn. Hopefully some North American viewers found that enjoyable and, so. and learned something new. I definitely know I did. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, hope you hit the like button. Uh, that definitely helps us a lot. Um, if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed, I hope you hit the subscribe button down below and join us here. We're making videos like this all the time. So if you could join us, that'd be great. Otherwise, um, thank you for, for spending the time and doing your ranking here. Appreciate My pleasure. That. I put learned a lot of, and it was a lot of fun. Hey, put lots of time in it, <laughs> lots of time into it. So it was fun. All right, we'll see you guys in the future. Adios.